back everybody. Today we're going to look at a beer from Black Rocks Brewery. This is called Prescue, is how I'm guessing you say it. Uh, this is a limited release and this is an ale. A summer ale is what they do have on the can. Um, going by their website, this is a 5.5% ABV and 17 IBUs. But I believe... Yep, it is 5.5. Okay, I was thinking it was something different. Uh, availability on this one, they're saying is wild card. So this is the first time that I found the beer. So I don't know if they just brew it sometime in the summer and then it gets released or what that really means. A nicely hopped summer ale, a beer made with or made for watching sunsets. So it... Eh, I forgot to leave it up. Um, there's really nothing on untapped about it, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, I did pick up a six pack. I could not find a single of this beer, but I, I will say I did have one, let's say yesterday, uh, and then I was gonna do a review and I did a different one instead. Might go over. Very big head, um, but if we looked, uh, and I don't know if this is on all uh, Black Rocks cans, I don't think it was on the other two, but they do have, I'm guessing, Instagram people. Uh, but this was uh, bottled on 7-26-17, so about a month old uh, at recording this video. So if we look at it, uh, white, I got something in there. Off-white head, small medium bubbles, more medium bubbles in the center. If we look right now, I would say almost a forefinger of head. If we look at the color, it is a golden color, very clear. I can see through it some bubbles coming up. Not very much though. If we get a smell, big citrus pine is what I'm getting mostly. It, it, it smells fresh, almost, I want to say, like a, a slight biscuit in there. But the citrus pine really sticks out, and that's what threw me off when I first had this beer. Summer ale, you know, I'm thinking lemon, lime, stuff like that. And then I drank, I took a drink of this, uh, and it's like, holy cow, this isn't what I was thinking. But let's go ahead and get a drink. Very clean, very smooth. Uh, it's not too much, but the, the citrus notes in the middle to the back are good. Uh, the pine is kind of low for what you get out of the smell versus the taste. But to me, there's a little bit of bitterness, lingering bitterness in there, but not very much. Good peaks. Yeah, it's it, the, the smell makes you think this is going to be a citrus pine bomb. And it's really not. It's really smooth up front in the taste, then some citrus, some pine with a tiny bit of bitterness. Uh, the one I had yesterday, the beer that I did have yesterday was a little bit warmer. And I thought the bitterness level was higher in that one. Like, it stayed in there but this one has been in the fridge for 24 hours and so it is colder and that bitterness is toned down some yeah this limited release has big hop aroma leading to a fresh clean flavor grab a sixer and watch the sunset I mean, I, it's a different take on a summer ale. I would think this is more of along the lines of a pale ale IPA versus a summer ale. Those peaks are definitely staying there. I almost think they're using some kind of oats in this one. It's very, very smooth going down. Uh, I don't know how to get that smoothness outside of oats.
But yeah, nothing up front, a little bit of citrus, pine in the back, a tiny bit of bitterness. It's gone. It lingers just a little, but not that much. So if you're new into pale ales, IPAs, and you want something on the light side, I would definitely uh, look into picking uh, this one up. Pretty good beer. Uh, I would go with a four out of five on this one. I, I wish that citrus pine was upped a little bit and maybe some fruitiness up front. Um, but overall, a good summer beer, mowing the lawn, hanging out by the pool, something like that. I could definitely see it. But yeah, it needs that citrus, that pine upped a little bit more to get a higher score. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.